Welcome to Verbal Big Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. Amber Geiger, shot and kill, Batham Jean from Haiti, ha- Haitian descent. Claim that she was on the wrong floor, entered into the wrong apartment, saw a black man in her apartment, automatically judged him as an intruder, pulled out her police weapon, sidearm, and killed the brother in Dallas now. And the sad thing about it is society believes that she may be innocent due to the fact that she may have been afraid for her life. Now, not 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 that Batham Jean, the the brother black man not that he was afraid for his life when he saw a white woman entering into his apartment just busted in in, no knock opened his door and he like hey what the hell you doing in my apartment who are you she shoots him she didn't give any commands to I'm a police officer She didn't show uh, her badge. She didn't uh, take into the account of all the surrounding things that were uh, visibly in play when she entered into his apartment. Only thing she was focused on was a big black man. That was it. Now I know they don't want to bring racism into the case, but had Batham Jean, Batham Jean been a white guy, she would have been like, hey dude, what are you doing in my apartment? He'd have been like, what do you mean it's my apartment? She looked around and, oh, oh sorry about that. Hey, uh, Next time dinner's on me. But since they have that itchy trigger finger for black men, it goes, Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Pow, pow, pow. Not, uh, hey, what are you doing in my apartment in, in my apartment? Uh, did she did she initiate any questions? And did she give him time to answer her questions or her command? Or was she just went in there judge and jury? You know, uh, hey, I can shoot you if I believe that you're in my apartment, meaning that I could be wrong, but just my just just my belief system. I thought this was my apartment. And I thought you were an intruder in my apartment, so I'm free to shoot you. See, that, that's what when, that's what we call white privilege. You know, uh, then you have white people who will make statements like, "Hey, well, it was an innocent mistake." First of all, you're trying to tell me that our tax dollars that goes into the training of these police officers. Right, you're trying to tell me that we're wasting our tax dollars because here's an officer who can't recognize her surroundings. She can't distinguish between her apartment and someone else's apartment. She can't distinguish between the third and the fourth floor. She can't distinguish between a red mat at the front of the door or a different color mat or a no mat at her door. No, she was so enthralled 
at walking in the wrong place and seeing the black man and what she thought was in her apartment until she lost her marbles. She lost her shit. And opened fire on the brother due to her negligence. And then they want to try to say, well, they're trying this uh, as, a, as, a, as a murder case, but so since they're trying as a murder case, will a judge accept the lesser plea? Because it's going to be hard proven that she didn't uh, actually mistake make the mistake that she was in the wrong place that she actually believed that she was in her place and she shot him actually believing that he was an intruder they're saying how can you I mean you know it's going to be hard proving that she didn't believe that so another black man is lost which means black children black future is lost and hey and that's what it is if the jury let her walk then that is send a message to future times to where when something like this comes back up uh, they'll believe that they can walk just like Amber Geiger walked if we let this happen that'll be the excuse but if you set a precedent today then those who have the mindset of Amber Geiger or the actions of Amber Geiger will think twice. Will pay close attention to their surroundings before they enter into the wrong apartment and kill a black man. That's just like saying Batham Jean had a black 2015 Toyota Camry. He's parked on the side of the street running into the store. Amber Geiger has a black 2014 black Toyota Camry. She goes in the wrong, she goes in the same store. Now, Batham Jean comes out of that store 30 seconds before Amber Geiger. He's sitting on his cell phone, windows rolled down. Amber Geiger comes out, she's texting on her phone, walks up to the wrong black Toyota Camry, sees a black man in a passenger seat, pulls out her police issued weapon and fires two shot kills him in the head and says oh I thought he was trying to carjack my car innocent mistake and then to have white people saying well you know what they're saying is those who own Amber Geiger's side is saying is hey I would have done the same man you know if I walked in the wrong place and saw a big black man I'm shooting you know, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this is America. If I come out and see a black person in, in a car that I thought was mine, I'm thinking carjack. I'm shooting. That's the world we're living into. So now you're saying black people have to put special markers on their doors and on their vehicles, on their persons, Hopefully, hope, hopefully, white people will see that and say, oh, damn, this is not my apartment. Oh, damn, this is not my car. Uh, yeah, I don't remember this. I don't remember this mark, this big red uh, mark on the side. You know. Oh, man, I'm glad you marked your car up. I thought I'd have to kill you because, damn, you got a car similar to mine. I'm glad you put this, this mark this mark on your door because if you hadn't I would have went into the wrong apartment and I'd have killed you due to my negligence but hey I'm white I can get away with that <laughs> you get what I'm saying 
It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy that a person's negligence due to their lack of awareness can mistakenly walk into someone's home and kill them and their only excuse is, oh, I thought I was in my place. I thought the guy was in my apartment robbing me blind. Come on, man. You know how cornbread do it. Come on. Jaheen was in my apartment. I don't know telling what he was doing. I thought it was mine. I, I had to let I had to open fire on it. You know? Oh yeah, we, we we're not we're not falling for that uh Amber Geiger. Yeah, that's that's not strong. Oh, it's not strong enough. Wait a minute. Uh what about the white girl tears, you know? If I start boohooing and if I break down, you know, uh, you know, put the white girl victim tears on the public, you know, can, will, will that will that give me some points? Will, you know, can I can I drop enough sympathy? They're like, uh, you know what? Uh, actually, hey, that might work. Okay, well, yeah, should I start crying now? Yeah, yeah, nah, wait. Wait till you get on the stand. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. And, and uh, break down, you know. Try to hyperventilate as well. You know, that looks good, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I can do that. Hey, acting, hey, acting is my job. So she gets on the stage, and I thought, oh, I'm sorry, I thought he was an intruder. And they said, well, did you shoot the kill? Uh, I thought it was an intruder, yes. Yes. Why did they ask, did she shoot the kill? Because they're saying, hey, if she was afraid, she didn't shoot the wound. She shoot to eliminate the threat. Now, how, how, how are they going to prove that he was a threat? How can she prove that she was afraid for her life? What? He didn't have a weapon on him. Well, there's no recording of him saying, bitch, if you don't get out of my apartment, I'm going to kill your motherfucking ass. That was, he, he haven't said anything towards that nature. This man in, in his apartment, what they saying, eating some ice cream? You know, probably watching a little television, thinking about this day. And next thing you know, this, uh, this, this evil uh, wolf walks in uh, with the mindset of, uh, uh, hey, Cooley High, you, you you in my apartment? Would you, 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 you trying to rob me? Yeah, I got something for you. Bam, 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 bam. Shoot him, kill him. Then she, uh, then she on the phone, sitting in the car. You know, they probably high five. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm just, I'm just assuming. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, hey man, you was. I mean, look at him. Damn, look at you. You know, you small little white girl. You innocent. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let, wait, 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 wait. Let's flip these pages for a minute. Let's. Anybody got a dictionary thesaurus? Yeah, let's look up. Let's look up white. What, what's he look? Look what it says right here. White. You're pure snow. Yeah, you're, you're white. You're pure snow. Come on. You know. You. Of course you were afraid. You're fragile. You know. Hey, you come in. You thought it was your pay place. A uh, big black man hovering over you had a lick in his eye, kind of was drooling out the mouth. You thought you was going to kill him. He had to eliminate the threat. Yeah, let's let's paint that narrative to the public. You know, you know, white folks going to believe it, but that's not the problem. We got to get the uh, the Tums and the Negroes on our side with this one. Yeah, you gonna we got to do a lot of work. You're gonna have to go back to uh, antebellum South, and you're gonna have to play the white the white victim, Miss Ann, and hopefully. You can get some of the, the old uh, Negro spiritual uh, slave Negroes on your side to uh, uh, gather you up some sympathy. Let's, you know, I we, we, we got to go for it. And people sitting back like, man, are you all serious? In 2019, come on. You know, you, she, you, you have to sit a precedent stating that by you being a peace officer for one your embodiment is peace and you are searching for peace there was no peace in the actions of Amber Geiger dealing with Batham G 
the tax dollars that was spent on training Ms. Geiger was useless. She didn't recognize nothing in that surrounding. She couldn't even tell she was on the wrong floor. When she opened the door, she couldn't see that nothing inside that apartment looked anything like what was inside of her apartment. She also couldn't tell that from the moment she gave the command or she walked in, you're saying that after she got the phone texting, or did she have one? Or did she have the one? Did she have one hand on the phone and the other hand on the, on the gun? You see what I'm saying? She, you saying that she never paused from being on the telephone, uh, talking with, uh, or texting her uh, lover, or are they having some problem? Not one could she take her mind off. She wasn't professional enough to take her mind off that distraction and focus on the situation at hand with all that police training. You, know, you mean to tell me that the the the, the defense for Batham Jean couldn't ask her uh, you mean to tell me you being a peace officer you can assess the situation. You paid to assess the situation and you couldn't do it. You, you, what you're saying? You're a professional. That's just like uh, someone who's a black belt in karate who hands us consider lethal, lethal or a boxer that's considered that had that type of training. You know what I mean? You trying to tell me uh, uh, you didn't take in consideration uh, the strength of your hands and, and your training and you hit someone and killed them? They prosecute them. Couldn't get out of it. You trying to tell me Amber Geiger, with the extent of her training, couldn't assess, go in and assess the situation. She couldn't detach herself from texting over uh, some, some some complications in the relationship when it comes to life and death. And you say, uh, hey, you white girl, get up there and cry a little bit. Uh, he's big. We, we're going to keep focusing on that in the media. She. Uh, what, 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 what did they say? Uh, an innocent mistake. A man lost his life and they call it an innocent mistake. Come on. Y'all serious? An innocent? Well, as a matter of fact, what, 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 what dictates an innocent mistake when it comes to uh, someone losing their life? You know? I mean, it, it, will, will, will this be an amendment saying that, hey, if you mistakenly walk in someone's house, but you think it's your house uh, because you were distracted by texting uh, in a complicated relationship or you were arguing with your, with your other and you walk in their home and you think it's your home and you see someone, uh, you can shoot because you, you weren't thinking clearly at the moment. Although someone lost their lives, you know, and that's, and that's the thing. Someone lost a, how valuable do how valuable is life? Is it? And that's another question. How valuable is life? What's the value on life? Especially on black life. God damn. That's why they got to say black lives matter. What is the value of black life? You know, and, and then that, and does that go into uh, terminology? And terminology being i.e., what do you call yourself? Black, Afro-American, Negro? Is there any value in that under definitions? And so, uh, if you qualify uh, under uh, African American, are they saying, "Hey, man, we don't recognize that, and there's no value to that"? So, you know, hey, it is what it is. What's your nationality? I mean, we got to answer these questions. You know, maybe because people people are dying, man. Folks are being disrespected and they're dying. And it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me, actually, whatsoever. You know, I, I mean, when I first heard the case, I said, well, at least 
there's no way she can get away with it. There's no way they let her get out. That this is this is an open and shut case. You know, a man can't die from a uh, from negligence of another person who shoots them because they believe they in a, they in their they in their apartment. What the hell is that? You know, damn, whoa, that mean, come on. You know, as I gave the example, if they both had the, the same black Toyota camera, she on the phone distracted, walks up to the window, she see a black man in the car, uh, he's trying to carjack me. Bam, bam, kill him. Then comes out, oh, I got killed a black man. Uh, I thought he was in my car. Uh, I had the wrong car. Uh, he's dead. Uh, wait up. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's get in the car. We talk about it. You know, hey, man. You know, hey, it happens all the time. You know, woo. At least you didn't shoot anyone white. Whoa. You really be in trouble. And she like, oh, yeah, thank <laughs> Thank God we're in America. I mean, it's, 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 it's appalling. It's ridiculous. It's 2019. Are we going backwards as a country? Why are we even still dealing with the issues of race? You know, it's 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 absurd. Uh, it's time to wake up. Uh, they're saying that it's going to be hard for a jury. Uh, to convict Emma Geiger or prove that she wasn't afraid for her life. Yeah, because dead men don't talk. He, you not gonna hear his side of the story. She eliminated the threat. He's voiceless. That ham gene is silent. So, the only thing that they have to go on in belief or believe is the word of a distracted person who saw a black man in his home and that type of person killed him with no verbal uh, commands. She didn't say, what are you doing in my apartment? Put the gun down. Hell, he didn't have a gun. What he was going to do? Take the ice cream and he got some kind of alchemy magic and throw the ice cream on her and she's going to freeze up and she'll be frozen from the ice cream because he knew how to do magic and make the ice cream uh, temperature 10 below zero and they freeze her heart up and she was going to collapse and die so she had to shoot. Come on, man. Yeah, right. You you got you got a, a, a revolver. You have a, a police-issued weapon up against a bowl of ice cream. And she she was afraid for her life. He was gonna get some ice cream on her. You know. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's it's that negative stereotype and that narrative that's in Hollywood of black men being gangsters and ready to shoot. It's these shows that's always showing black on black crime and it's just a show, man. It's a show. Black folks not running nothing in America, owning all the businesses and real estate and whatnot. Come on. These cats that's selling on the corner or doing these little petty robbers, most they're going to get a couple of hundred dollars. You know what I mean? And that money will be gone. That money will be gone before the next day. You know. So, within your music and within Hollywood and the media, stop, stop portraying black men as though they gangsters because for one white folks can't tell the difference between if you black from Africa, Haiti, America Dominican, Mexico uh, uh, Arabia India they, they, don't, they can't look at you and tell where you from unless you unless you open your mouth and they hear that accent but just coming off the surface I don't know where the hell what can't tell if you from Jamaica you from Chicago, New York, the Dominican, with your Puerto Rico, Louisiana. They don't know. 
know. Oh, I look like like they say here. They all look like Tyson. You know what I mean? So hey, man, I don't know. Uh, I wish the Jean family uh, the best. But uh, like the young lady stated, we don't know how however this comes out. We just want people to uh, recognize the greatness that he was and his potential and, uh, and, and honor his memory and his legacy and what he wanted to do for the world. And You know what I mean? Because what they're saying is, man, we don't, we don't put any stock and no hope in this justice system. You see, she was a white woman might be, and, and it's a white justice system, even if you put seven black or if you put seven black and five white on the jury, how do we know that the black that you put, how you know three of them don't think they white? How you know three of them, uh, how, you know don't, how you know four of them don't hate themselves? Hate being black. You know, who knows? You know, man, who knows? The bottom line is, a white woman, cop, entered into a black man's apartment in his sanctuary at home, minding his own business, eating a bowl of ice cream, and wound up dead. And the best she can say is, I thought I was in the wrong apartment. And I was afraid for my life. But you had a gun and he did. But you still, you a cop with a gun and you afraid. Wow. I mean, whoa, really, 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 really? Hey, hey, man. As I stated, and before we get out of here, black people, whether you put markings on your vehicle to let white people know that hey this is not your vehicle this is not your house don't shoot me man you know damn I want to live don't use this as an excuse to take me out saying oh, I'm mistaken you uh, um, you know you, uh, you, 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 you're at the library you're getting ready to go home you and the white person had the same uh, 10 speed or uh mountain bike look similar he see you riding off ah goddamn goddamn doing work stealing my goddamn bike where, where's my gun bam bam shoot him down uh what 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 happened you know uh I hell I oh damn my oh, my bike's parked right here I'm still in the bike rack oh damn my bad uh, hey, man, I'm mistaken that day, man. I thought he was riding up on my bike. You know, he's black. You know, he was trying. I thought he was trying to jack me from a bicycle. We got similar bikes. You know, innocent mistake, man. Come on, let's move on. Yet, he's lying, bleeding out, dead on the sidewalk. You know, he didn't say, he didn't say, um, he didn't check. First of all, he didn't check to see with his bike still in that location. Then he, didn't, then he didn't shoot a warning shot in the air. Ah, uh, damn. Plow. Hey, get off my bike to get a man a chance. Say, what do you mean, my old bike? This is my bike. Look, look at my walkings right here. Oh, no, damn, it is your bike. Wait a minute. Oh, damn, my bike's still on the wreck. Uh, bah, bah, my bad, damn. I uh, couldn't get you, but okay. You know. Okay, ride on. We'll see you later. That shit, that don't, hey, we don't get those options. We don't get those options, you know. Hey, oh, uh, hey, hey, man, what you, hey, you stealing my bike. You know, uh, you know, because why? They perceived in their mind that black people can't have nothing. You don't have, you don't, you black, you don't live where I live. You don't, you don't have, you, you don't have the same kind of vehicle I have. You can't afford that expensive bike that I'm riding in. No, you're black. Wait a minute. Bam, bam, bam. And that goes, look, that goes from the the vanilla, the, the lightest of the light of black people to the darkest of the dark. One drop gets, gets victimized in America. If you think I'm lying, just go, go ask, go ask, pick one. Go for you, start with Kamala Harris. 
has if they experience any racism in America. Just just throw some names out there. Go from the lightest that you can see, got the damn all the way light to transparent, and go to the darkest, all the way to the darkest to transparent, and see if they experience some racism in America. Don't let nobody fool you. And, and you know, well, you know, uh, I had a white grandmama. My, my great-grandfather was white. Yeah, right. Okay, might have been, but it ain't got nothing to do with your black ass. You know what I mean? Hey, still treat, what you gonna, you gonna go up to the race and say, hey, man, oh, you know what they're gonna say? Oh, your, your great-grandfather or great-grandmother was a nigger lover? That's even worse. Pow, 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 pow. You like, oh damn, I thought that worked. Nah, you wasn't drop, man. Come on. You know the rules. You know the rules. You know. Come on. Come on. Come on, uh, uh yellow cornbread. You know that cornbread that I almost look uh I almost look white on the top. That white cornbread. Then you got that dark cornbread. I almost look burnt. That brown, brown cornbread. Then you got that light, light, light cornbread. In their eyes, it's the same cornbread. You know what I mean? It's just the cornbread. That's why they got the pot. Calling the ghetto black. Look. <clears throat> both cornbreads sitting on the stove talking about each other. White boy come eat both of them. <laughs> it don't even make no distinguish. You know, it's going cornbread, cornbread to me. Black folk come, you know, I don't like that dark cornbread. You know, it's, it's kind of rough on my teeth. You know, you know, I don't like that light cornbread. I can't get no taste out of it. It's, it's kind of plain, you know. I don't love, love with the light cornbread. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's cornbread. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> That's crazy. At the end of the day, it's cornbread. Then another thing with road rage. And then I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I just gotta touch on this and I'm out, man. I'm, I know y'all been listening to me. Verbal Prick Radio, look, y'all check us out this Sunday, October the 6th, at the Afro Creole Festival. We'll be there with um, the EDP shirts and uh, we partnering up with uh, Ariel's at Home Cuisine. Food and fashion, come check us out. Uh, but before I go, those of you who drive, drive those big trucks, I'm talking about the ones that be sitting up high, you know, the forward super duties, and you, you know, you and you, you set them up real high off the ground, and you come flying down the road, thinking you're in a, a big semi, and you're trying to intimidate drivers, man. Look, relax and drive, man. That kind of stuff causes road rage. You get behind somebody, and you, you think it's funny because you thinking you running them over. You know what I mean? And hey, people are like, man, you, 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 you get too close up behind me if you want to. You try to hog the road if you want to. You speed and act like you're trying to run me over if you want to. I'm just saying, watch yourself. Relax, man, relax. Man, folks losing their mind, you know? Hey, Verbal Creek Radio, and we're out. <laughs>